Roswell Flight Test Crew here at CES 2019 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm talking to Chad Sparks over at the Bell booth. Chad, how you doing? I'm doing great today. So glad to have you here. <laughs> so glad to be here. Now there is something simply extraordinary sitting behind us here. I was on the monorail yesterday and some guy said, have you been to the Bell booth? You need to check this thing out. It's like Avatar. And I've seen, you know, autonomous aerial taxis before. I'm thinking, okay, yeah, whatever. I can work. This thing is like it's out of Avatar. What is happening? here. Well, I can tell you, we're really excited. This is the Bell Nexus behind us, and what this vehicle really represents is the future of urban air mobility. It's a concept vehicle that really represents the future of passenger transport and logistics movement, and that future is not that far away. Now let's get the basics out of the way here. It's a hexacopter, it's got six rotors, and is it electrically powered? Well, what we have is a hybrid electric propulsion system, and so the reason for that is we want extended range and capabilities of the vehicle that a full electric propulsion just can't quite get us today, but we are committed and believe in full electric propulsion and have a pathway to get there. Now, I mentioned before that sort of we're looking at the autonomous air taxi model, but when I climbed inside, I noticed there is what looks like a pilot station, a cockpit. So is this autonomous? Is it pilot operated? How does it work? Well, for this vehicle, from day one, it will be designed to be a fully autonomous vehicle. But safety and community acceptance are two really important aspects of the vehicle for us. And so we believe that in the early stages, we'll need to have a safety pilot on board to make people feel safe and comfortable and also work with our regulators to build the confidence in the vehicle and the technology behind it. But going into the future, we believe this will be a fully autonomous vehicle. So what's its lift capacity? It holds four people? That's correct. This configuration behind us is four passengers plus a pilot, and so we're running at about a thousand pounds of useful load at targeted at about 150 mile range at 150 miles an hour. Wow. And of course it's VTOL so you can touch down on a helicopter pad. Can you land anyplace else? Well, what's really exciting about it is it's not just VTOL. This is really a transformational lift vehicle behind us. And so the vehicle uses the lift fans to take off vertically. Those ducts then rotate over 90 degrees to fly just like an airplane until you come to maybe a, an unprepared landing area or maybe it's a parking lot or another vertiport somewhere, convert back over and then land safely and naturally. Now, I was sort of curious because if you look at that thing, it's got pretty stubby little wings. Can you generate enough lift off those wings in order to keep this thing airborne if the propellers are pitched, you know, almost, you know, to straightforward flight? Well, absolutely. We've got some of the best engineers in the world that have analyzed this duct. And what's really unique about the duct is it allows for really efficient vertical lift performance. But in addition to that, in forward flight, those ducts also serve as aerodynamic lift surfaces as well, much like a ring wing that we generate lift even in forward flight mode. Wow, that's that's pretty amazing. So now let me ask you, I mean, obviously safety, you know, a critical issue. Are you gonna have like a ballistic parachute on this thing? That seems to be de rigueur in these multi-rotor air, you know, air taxis. Well, what's important to Bell is in our DNA, safety is, is the most important thing that we do. We believe that that's got to be paramount. And so for providing the right level of reliability behind the air vehicle, uh, we feel like it's important for any Bell aircraft that we always are under our own power, regardless of the situation on the aircraft. And so we've actually installed emergency battery backup in this vehicle so that we don't need to utilize technology like a ballistic chute. But under our own power, we can go pick and choose the landing location that we need in case of an emergency situation. Now what happens if there's a mechanical failure like a, a motor quits or you throw a prop or, you know, heaven forbid, you collide with something and, you know, the, the, the shroud collapses in the propeller, you lose hardware, then what do you do? Well, what's really great is there's a reliability inherent in our design. So in being a hexacopter type configuration, we're able to lose one of those ducts from an effective lift standpoint and still be able to control the vehicle in a safe and effective manner and return safely to the ground. Well, this is, <laughs> I, I, I say things like this is extraordinary a lot on the YouTube channel, but this is extraordinary. I mean, when do you see this thing actually becoming operation? When do I get my first ride? Well, we're, right now we're targeting about a 2025 time frame for certification and entry into service. And so that comes with it, all of the steps that we have a rich history on. You know, Bell Helicopter and Bell now, it was a startup 80 years ago and so we know aviation and we know aerospace and we know the process it takes to not only design but certify produce operate and maintain a vehicle in a really safe and effective manner why not just go out and buy a helicopter what's the advantage of this thing over a conventional helicopter 
Well, so it's, what's really unique about this vehicle as compared to a traditional helicopter is the new technology that's out there is allowing a, a completely different set of economics and the acoustic benefits around the ducted airfoil design really changes both the type of noise at the decibel level and the tonality of the noise. So the way in which it emits noise will just blend it in the landscape. And so we're really excited about what that means for our ability to partner with communities and provide a really effective service. Is the maintenance similar to a manned helicopter? Well, the maintenance is actually different than a manned helicopter because, again, simplicity drives cost. And so in many ways, we have simplified the architecture of the vehicle. A conventional helicopter would have hydraulics on board. We don't have any hydraulics on the aircraft. It's all electrical actuation. And so the rotor hub is also much simpler than what you would see in a traditional helicopter hub. And so the maintenance levels are much lower than what you would see in a traditional rotorcraft. And thus less cost. Wow. Well, Chad, thank you for talking us through this thing. It's amazing. I can't wait to take my first ride. I gave you my business card. I'm expecting a phone call. Very good. We'll get you first on the list. Appreciate the time today. We're really excited about the feedback we've had of the Bell Nexus. I bet you are. Okay, so from CES 2019 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Desk Crew signing off. Thanks again, Chad.